box today, and today we got this Venom box off Amazon, and then after that we're gonna show, uh, like, say some, figure out, show you how to, like, save some money on fun buying Funko Pop, like eBay, Amazon, and all the other stores. So let's get started. So first we're gonna start with the Venom box. So this is not a new box we just got found it on the amazon we stuff. just bought it on amazon yeah. because it was so cheap yeah. and that's what the whole point of this video is it's talking about how to save money yeah buying funko pops so, so we paid i think it was like 14 dollars for this box 14 bucks in bags usually, whenever you they're usually 30 dollars whenever you buy these sometimes this one is actually really good but this was this box came out before we subscribed to it so first it comes with the sticker yeah, that sticker's pretty cool. That and then it comes with a, it's like a little stress ball, but it's a pop venom head. The, it's a stretch pop, stretch yeah. head, stress head. But it's pretty cool, like a squeezy oh, thing. I haven't got to squish it. Ooh, look at that. That's actually pretty good. It's it also action. comes with a venom pint size hero. Yeah. Which that, they don't make very many pint size heroes anymore. And this one's clear, if you can tell that it's clear. Mm -hmm. We've got the regular Venom one. I think the regular one's got his tongue sticking out. Yeah. I know there's... Yeah, it's well, got his yeah. tongue sticking out. What's that off the pipe? It's like the pop. Is. Yeah. Yeah, that's, only, that's the first one I ever got. And then this is the pop that came with it. Venom pop. That looks like a hot dog then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So that pop is pretty cool. This it's pop's like, worth just the 14, 15 bucks. Yeah, so pretty in. much as much as we paid for it. It's box. really cool out of box. Let's look yeah. at it. He's jumping. I wonder what it says. Right I think yeah. it just says Venom. It says 90s Marvel Venom Pop. Yeah, it doesn't say it. It doesn't say Venom. Jumping. Oh, I like the blue on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's pretty cool out of box. The back I love. I hope he's not going to yeah. stay on the stand. Sometimes he, these ones that don't come on the stand are really hard to put on yeah, there. Yeah, they need to stay on there like the Tony Stark. Yeah, but then sometimes those break. I know. So, yeah, he's really cool looking. So, he's pretty much jumping for carnage. Spoiler if you didn't see the Venom movie, but... Yeah, that one's cool. You probably watched it by now. And then it come with a t-shirt. Yeah. So for like 15 bucks, we got all this. Yeah, we definitely got our money back. For sure. And, and another thing with Amazon, if you order stuff on there, like these boxes, sometimes depending on, sometimes it'll be cheaper depending on what size t-shirt you want. Like if you want an extra large t-shirt, it might be $20. But if you want an extra small t-shirt, it might be $10. So check, keep checking on prices for these. Mm -hmm. And they change a lot. All right. I love just pushing it. Let's move some of this <laughs> stuff. Talk about eBay. And this is this is the last one that I just bought off of eBay. It's the Popo 2500 pieces. Fantastic and, plastic. Yeah, fantastic plastic. A lot of well, people haven't seen this one here. Well, I'll, they I'll take didn't it change box. it to fantastic plastic yet. Because, I, don't know well, if, I don't know if any of them ever did. Yeah, because uh, the uh, jingles, they didn't change that. Go check yeah, out that's the, the new ones. See, on one side he's happy, and then on the other side he's mad. Yeah, I don't know if the cups change Let's when see. you get a different color. Yeah, we haven't ever showed it out of box. No. We just showed it in box. But since we're talking about eBay, we'll talk about that one. Yeah, so... So we, I got this one on eBay. I think I paid $5 and, and like, $5 and some change for it. And then it was like $5 to ship yeah. it. So I paid like $10, 10 or $11 for it all together. And that's cheaper than if you go to GameStop and buy a pop. Yeah, so so the 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 way that I buy on eBay is I always go to the first thing I go to is ending soonest. You change it to ending soonest. And right? then you uh, choose like one you like it that's cheap. No, I just type in Funko Pops yeah. and then I go to ending soonest and it'll show you which ones are coming up. But whenever not ending, not just regular ending soonest, ending soonest and then only auction. Okay, so on eBay also you can go to newly listed and buy it now. Mm -hmm. And whenever you do that, it'll show you the newest stuff that's been listed. 
that people just want to sell not auctions but just sell and you can find ch stuff on there for really cheap mm -hmm. not as cheap as the auctions but a lot of times people will put buy it now or best offer so if they put thirty dollars on something and they just listed it you might be the first person to offer them twenty dollars and they might sell it to you so you might find something for cheap on there yeah but i think the cheapest ones you find are on the auction right whenever they're about to run out because a lot of times people put stuff on there and a lot of it don't even ever get bid on mm -hmm. either because it's too high or it's just stuff that nobody wants and you can find stuff on there that you might want for really cheap yeah and make sure you ship check the shipping like once that jack skeleton gold one well i mean like jack sparrow gold one it was like one dollar and then the shipping was like 75 bucks yeah well so yeah, it depends so on where it's shipping. coming from a lot of times they're coming from different countries or stuff too yeah, and also but you got to watch for fake ones on there too they'll yeah. be really cheap if you see a really expensive pop that's like two or three dollars and it's coming from china it's probably fake so that's a good one but then um like Michaels, Michaels and Hobby Lobby, they both have like 40 or 50% off coupons. So you can use those on their pops because their pops are a little bit more like 11 or $12. So use those if you find something really good there. Like we found the Twinkie the Kid Chase there. Mm -hmm. So we use the coupon on that. And then we have some of the baseball bats, mm -hmm. display cases that we put we put pops in use those coupons on that because they're usually 60 or 70 dollars yeah and for ebay if you don't want to buy like funko pops you can buy like other funko stuff like mm -hmm. the venom squishy they'll probably have that if you want anything from the venom box you can buy yeah you can buy anything on there mm -hmm. it's just try you gotta try to save money mm -hmm. and don't overspend for something that, just because yeah. you really want it there's probably another one on there unless it's a grill or you know something like that but if it's just a common pop, don't spend a lot of money on it. And a lot of times the prices will come down because people yeah. buy a bunch of them and then can't sell them. And so that's what we look for. We always try to save money. And and then um, what else can we talk about? Target. And when you go on eBay and there's a one you want that's pretty expensive, don't just go ahead and go on that. See looking down just in case that there's a cheaper one. Mm -hmm. So don't just look on the, like, this, at the same one that there could be a cheaper one so mm -hmm. find a better deal for and it. a lot of times it'll tell you what if you click on it it'll tell you this is trending at this price so it'll tell you about what it's what it's been selling at on ebay mm -hmm. and um or you can click go on the menu and click sold items and you can go down and look at all the ones that have been sold to, of whatever pop you're looking at it'll tell you all the ones that have been sold and you can see about how much the prices are going for yeah so if you want a tony tiger and you're gonna try to bid for that you can check if how many it's been sold and that that's probably it's probably worth more yeah it'll show you all like the it. ones that have been sold for how much and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff so you can kind of base what you need to spend on it right there if it's one you really want yeah a lot of old pops are on there a lot of times new ones so you can probably find like a $50 pop to like a $5 pop, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Okay, also on Amazon, they've always got deals on there. And uh, like today, I saw the three pack of the hyenas from uh, the Lion King. Mm -hmm. It was like $15. Bad. They bad. Um, had some of the old smugglers bounty boxes on there for $12. Yeah, they the one with the movie $50. moments. So just look around on there. And also, if you don't know on Amazon, whenever you order a pop from Amazon, you gotta order it not just from Amazon, but actually Amazon selling it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. If there's a chase, you could you could possibly get that. Yeah, so pretty much if there's a chase of the pop you ordered the regular of, you can easily get the chase. Mm -hmm. Like once we got the Twinkie the Kid Chase, well, no, I mean. I think we, we got the Nacho Libre. We got the. The Wasp. We've probably got four or five chases from Amazon just by ordering the regular one. Mm -hmm. I can't think of which ones, but I know we've got a bunch of them from Mr. there. Mr. Bean? Did you get that one? Mm, I don't remember. But also Walmart does that too, that you can do that. There's not too many places, but I know Walmart does. But um, yeah, so just look for deals because the, their prices change like almost every day on mm -hmm. it, on Amazon. Yeah, like the whole like the like the whole different color ones the new ones those can be like four bucks on what that's on walmart i know they yeah. have those on walmart the chrome different color hulks 
They're four or five dollars mm -hmm. on Walmart right now, so you can get the whole set. Mm -hmm. And other stuff that Funko could be on sale. Mm -hmm. Walmart's always changing their prices on yeah, stuff. Yeah, like too, Mr. Minis. Every day. If you're interested in Mr. Minis, those can go on sale a lot. Mm -hmm. Like ours went, like the Endgame ones went on sale for three bucks a piece. Not too bad. Also on the Funko shop too, a lot of their Funko shop releases haven't been selling out lately. Mm -hmm. So if they don't sell out on the Funko pop up shop, which I guess it's just the regular Funko shop now, it moves to the regular Funko shop and then you can use the 20% off because they've always usually got a 20% off discount going. And that'll usually cover your shipping and stuff because their pops are a little bit higher on there. So then you can save that money and it pretty much pays for your shipping on some of them sometimes. Yeah, so if you want the Christmas bundle <laughs> like we did in the last video, go check that out. Yeah, it's still on there that, and you should be, be able sale. Yeah, you should be able to get use it. I don't know for sure, but you might be able to use the 20% off on the mm -hmm. Christmas bundle cuz it's still on there. Yeah, because it says might as well save money. And then Target, I was looking last week and Target had a bunch of their 10-inch pops on sale. They were down to like Olaf was $14. Yeah. Some of the other ones were cheaper. And the, also they were buy two, get one free. So if I wanted three Olaf Pops, I could have got three of them for $30. Yeah, so pretty much, like, we got the Target dog. We got four of those, the Flocks. And it was like $9 or $8 a piece. And well, they're Target, cheap. Target and Walmart's the cheapest place just yeah. to get regular Pops because they're like 8 or $9. Yeah, but, but also, if, if you have a Target red card... And you use that, you save five percent anyways. Plus, you get free shipping online. So that's another way to save it. So yeah. we use our Target card and buy stuff, and then as soon as it comes in, we just pay it off, and it's saving five percent, and you get free shipping. Can't you? Then you get the Red Darth Vader Chrome one with that card. Yeah, because yeah, so. that's the only way you can get that one is with the Target card. Yeah, so pops like that can come out too. Mm -hmm. And also like. It doesn't matter what pop there. If it's a regular size pop at Target or Walmart, it's going to be like nine or eight. Well, bucks. the thing with it is, Target's getting so many ten inches that they're trying to get rid of them faster because mm -hmm. they take up so much more room. So they're trying once they get all these pops in, they mark them down in stores or online. A lot of times in stores they're on sale too, even though they're not online. The online prices and the store prices ain't always the same. Yeah, ten inches. They're probably getting so many that one will probably be like nine bucks, like a like. The same matter as a regular pop Yeah, the, I think, was it the Thanos or the Hulk 10-inch that we bought at Target? the Thanos? I think we paid $8 for it because yeah, it was Thanos on clearance. Yeah, because they don't have they don't have room for all these big 10-inch pops on the shelf, so they mark them down. Same thing with their um, their little, what are they, like, like their T-shirt bundles and stuff oh, yeah. like that. They mark those down a lot of times, too, because mm -hmm. they take up more room. Yeah, and at the end of, like, if you, at, like... So if you have a Target and there's like the uh, pop section, there's like shelves from all the movies at in the middle. Mm -hmm. At the end, you can find like some pops on clearance. Like once we found like this new Mickey, well, that, now they're old, but it was a Mickey one mm -hmm. with the two buckets. It was like two, like 150 something. Oh, what was the best pop we got at Target for the cheapest price? Rick and Morty. Remember I found the Rick and Morty Chase at Target and whenever I rang it up it was only 80 something cents. Yeah, it was only 89 cents. Yeah, I got the receipt that's in and there with it. And you didn't even mean the fucking Chase. You were just it was yeah, yeah, it wasn't it. yeah, it wasn't marked as on sale or anything. I just found a Chase so I was going to get it and whenever I rang it up it was like 80 80 something cents I can't 89. remember. Yeah, I think it was 89. Yeah, so, so we got a Chase at Target for less than a dollar. Yeah, so sometimes you can maybe uh, be he was like pulling off shelf to like talk about it, and then he, mm -hmm. when he's on, he's going for it to put it back, he has to chase. Yeah. So pretty much it's the what it's where uh, Rick Rick is like this with his big buff arm. Sin, what is it? Sinian arm. Sinian arm. I think that's what it was called. With the bloody arm. It's sentium arm or mm -hmm. something like that's right there. Yeah. Comic books can have a lot of. Cheap pops too, like out of box. Comic book shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once I got. I the don't know very many comic books that has pops. <laughs> comic book shops. So at comic book shops, where they buy, sell, and trade yeah, so pops, what they do is if you take a pop in, mm -hmm. they usually give you half of what it's worth. Some places it's forty percent, some places fifty percent, but they give you half of what it's worth. So if you sell them a pop for ten dollars. And then they're, they're trying to sell it for 20 
if you you can talk them down on a lot of those because they know what they have in it and if it's been sitting there for a while if it's been sitting there for six months and you say i'll give you fifteen dollars for it they might take fifteen dollars for it because it's been sitting there for so long and they want new stuff to be coming in and out mm -hmm. and um also that's a good way though if you've got a lot of old pops that you don't want anymore take them in and they and they usually give you more on in-store credit than they will just cash and then you can trade up to get a better pop too yeah like once i got the c3 bill with the like red arm for like one buck out of box and then i got mm -hmm. the old boba fett for like two bucks yeah a lot of, of times you can find them there out of box yeah they have some good ones out of box you can sell like anything there pretty much that's like they, you could sell like the squishy head they'll probably take mm -hmm. that for like two bucks or three or four or five mm -hmm. something like that but yeah, they'll sell them for cheaper than what they have marked on them because they, they know what they have in them. They only gave them usually half of whatever they're selling it for. So if it's a $100 pop, they probably gave the person 40 or 50 bucks for it. So if you say 75 bucks, they'll probably take it. You just got to know how to save money. I tell you, you can, it's an easier way to build a big collection, get more pops you want, stuff like that. Yeah, so like pretty much Walmart and Target are cheap pops. And then Walmart online, they can have cheap pops. Mm -hmm. Like eBay is an easier way to get cheap pops. Yeah, all these stores you can easily get. Like comic book store, they'll have cheap pops. Or you save up for whenever you get hot cash or box lunch mm -hmm. money. That's a good way. Oh yeah, box lunch. If you have any like, and a hot topic. There's That's what like I said. Hot. Well, they cash. they they. It seems like they always have a sale going on too. Or, buy two get one free or something like, like that. three for 26 that yeah, was a yeah. deal a few uh, weeks ago or yeah days. gamestop used to do that but they don't do that too much yeah, anymore their best deal was when uh buy one get the second one half off well they've been running like buy three mm -hmm. yeah. get one 75 percent off or something like that but usually i can't find four mm -hmm. pops at gamestop that i need yeah well because if and their pops went up even higher yeah these comic book shores you're probably going to more, if you want a new pop, you need to go like in store for that. But if it's mm -hmm. like a Funko shop when that's old enough to be there, they'll probably have it. But if it's like a new one, don't go shopping in comic book stores. They usually have like the old pops. They don't mm -hmm. have new ones. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes they'll have new ones. Some of them too. do, but not most of mm -hmm. them. All right, finish this video So up. make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. It's red right now. If you didn't subscribe, make it gray. And then if you want to see a stay at home video or a pop hunt, you can comment down below to which one you want. Or if you know any other ways to save money on pops, let oh, yeah. us know. Because mm -hmm. we like to save that money. Mm -hmm. So make sure to like and subscribe. Do all that. It's been another episode of Stack and Pops and Buy Popsters.